Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Nunu in the jungle. We are gonna be playing him AP today for maximum carry potential. Although we went for phase rush so we can survive and keep our Dark Seals up since Dark Seal and Majaya's is so freaking important for carrying on Nunu. So we have phase rush with Nimbus Celerity Water Walking, Cheap Shot Relentless with Attack Speed, AP, and Armor. You'll notice movement speed is a huge part of Nunu in general because his W interacts with movement speed heavily. Anything affecting you at the start of the W will last for the full 10 second duration. Got blue jungle item as well for the same exact reason. If we step on bush, press W, we'll have that speed up for the whole 10 second duration. For our build, we are going to be rushing down on Leandri's first item. It makes us tanky and it gives us lots of AP and max health burn damage. Leandri's as a whole is pretty underpriced, especially for junglers since junglers don't need mana since their jungle items constantly pumping them full of mana. After we have our Leandri's, you can start to flex into tank items like Frozen Heart or Kanic. However, I want to stick with the full AP, so we'll be pushing for a Leandri's into a big fat juicy Storm Surge. Storm Surge is pretty good. And then we can look for things like Shadow Flame for more penetration and then go for a Rabadon. But first item back will be a Dark Seal and Boots. I wanted to do Red Wraps and Gromp for the fastest level 3 possible while securing my buffs. This gets you to your buffs as soon as possible so the enemy jungler can't steal it. Nuni has pretty good buffs to curl power with his Q. This route has a lot of upsides because of that. You don't even necessarily need the blue buff in this moment. We'll head bot side. We'll ghost early. You don't need all 15 seconds of it. We'll hit the river for water walking and W around. I don't want to ping my teammates to go in early here. That sucks. Oh, we got the snare auto Q. That's perfect. She's got nowhere to go. Ghost is so broken, dude. Seriously. <laughs> we're still able to run her down there. We see Leeson's top side. We might have a play mid right now. Aatrox is full health. It's so hard to gank top and mid because they added thick walls. Top and mid are 20% harder to gank. Bot lane's 20% easier to gank. So I would recommend pathing for your bot lane the majority of games. There's a knockout. We smite the cannon. I'm just going to hold this wave for soul so it doesn't crash. That's why I'm pulling it like this. I didn't want to let it crash on turret, so if he wants to now, he can freeze it if he chooses to like he's doing. Lee Sin was still top side, so we can take these if we want. We can go bot side if we want. It is hard to escape from people with phase rush if you're E's on cooldown. You're E alone, you can proc it. Just bam, 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 bam. Just blast him. Three separate attacks, technically. It's very easy to apply with your E, since each E is three snowballs. So you have nine snowballs total. We'll go ahead and start W. I would like to scuttle speed up. They're behind though, so we should be able to make this work as is. They're making my life easy right now. Got them both with the slow snare auto Q reset. Nice CC from the Vigar there. I'm not going to lose a dark, dark seal stack here, so I don't even really care about dying. I really lose nothing other than Lisa getting an extra 150 gold from killing me off the bounty. Since I didn't have dark seal stacks, like I said, it do really doesn't matter. Uh, a whole lot. We're just looking to spend as much gold as possible while getting at least tier 1 boots, since tier 1 boots are pretty important. I assume he might take the scuttle over there. Typically around this is when you'll use your W so you can reach Rapper Camp with it or Krug Camp. You want to extend that base movement speed from death. I think it's 14 or 15 minute mark is when you get constant base movement speed when you're in Fountain whether you died or not. Alrighty, got two points in Q. Syndra is looking like she's pushing a bit. We'll gank mid here. We want the scuttle speed up. So we have water walking scuttle. I don't think Relentless Hunter had a chance to kick in since we were technically in combat with scuttle. She has little time to knock us away because we're coming in so fast. Got her with all the slows. Auto key reset. Man, Soul did a big bowl of nothing there. <laughs> Not sure what happened. We'll go ahead and take this. I'll turn it, rise my backsides to it so we can extend our circle. Push it out as far as possible. So that, that's annoying when they word this. Smart players will do that because it's Nunu's best gank route option is off Scuttle Crab and the river for your water walking bonus. So I'll ping that out. I'll break that here in a second. I, they might have vision of that as well. Okay, Blitz Lance Hook. Finally get my water walking bonus. Apparently Ward counts as in combat, although it shouldn't. Missed my snowball. That's good. Got Dark Seal stacked there. I would start Dragon, but I only have two points in my queue instead of three. Oh, Leeson got Void Bugs. Those take a while without good AoE damage. 
I'm gonna ping that out for Aatrox so he knows what's up. Sure enough, there's Lee Sin. We'll go around the wall, try to avoid as much Ward Vision as we can. She dodged it, but at what cost? The cost is her life. I'll look to take his Raptors. They should be up. Stacking up the Dark Seal stack is what AP Nunu is all about. AP Nunu and Evelyn play extremely similar to each other. Both kill heavy, both kind of gank heavy, gold heavy. And both really good AP scalings. Nunu's R damage, 300% AP scaling. Whew. It's big. We can wrap around this wall right here. Got the Water Walking bonus, Relentless Hunter bonus, Scuttle Crab bonus. Yeah, that sucks. Not sure really sends that. This area is probably warded at this point. I still have Scuttle for a little bit. I might be able to use this speed up still. Yeah, we'll wait. Okay, we still have the Scuttle speed up. I'm on my W. No clue where this chick went. Didn't really want to steal those from him. It is what it is. Let's secure our red buff. I don't like giving up red. We need vision right here. This isn't getting him wards down yet. I don't think his support item is giving it to him at this point. I'm a lot more forgiving with giving away my blue buff than my red buff. Red buff's way too valuable for ganks and damage output. Blue buff as a whole for jungle is relatively worthless. Ever since jungle items started giving a fudge load of mana, which has been for a very long time, it's devalued uh, blue buffs heavily. We'll go ahead and ghost W off the ghost and Nimbus there. If we W fast enough, we can catch the Nimbus speed up as well. All right, so he still had flash. That's annoying. We'll say top 13 minute on his flash. Timestamp that for ourselves and for Aatrox. Looks like Aatrox is about to get himself killed. I would like to have my Q up ideally for the gank if possible because my Q is a big source of damage since I'm maxing it first. I also have R. I should be able to kill Garen. Okay, we've got the scuttle speed up. W on. I don't think that ward can see us. Hey, friend. We get the knock up into E spam. Auto Q. Get the snare into R. Down he goes. I'll go ahead and let this wave pass through because he's on his way. We'll use scuttle speed up while we still have it. I don't want to reset even if I've got a lot of gold in my pocket. Crossover with W speed up. We really should fight for this. You don't want to be giving away dragons and stuff for free. Oh, Lee Sin still gets it, but. Oh, he R's me away. Nice. Okay. At least he dies out of it. I think he flashed as well and R'd. So he lost some stuff for it. He'll probably lose his raptors here too. See if she's in the bush. She's not. We're fine to take this then. Solid. We got to fight for the rest of the dragons. It's super important on Nunu for the late game to have dragon. Uh, drag soul ideally. Otherwise his scaling is heavily outscaled by other tank numbers like Zack and Ramus. And even Sejuani. Well of course we're not playing him tank. But you get what I'm saying. Nunu isn't necessarily known for his tremendous late game scaling. Although his AP scaling is reasonably decent we'll go ahead and back now got full leandries or we could stay and get leandries and mesh in the same stroke we need a pink bot lane it's lazy for blitz not to buy one it's very very lazy they're cheap they have lane prior they can leave it in the pixel brush whether it's top or bot and control the full lane when you have lane prior the enemies can't break it without dying Guess what good laners will do. They take lane prior, have the bush warded. Their jungler can gank whenever, and the enemy jungler can't really ever gank. She's got no stun. She got chunked pretty hard there. I mean, I lost a lot of health too. I'm just kind of stalling to get a little bit more gold from mesh. I need like three or three, four hundred more gold. Or AOE autos here. He got all the void bugs. That's extra damage for him and his allies against turrets. I think they are going to end up nerfing it. The void bugs also give a, quite a bit of experience. They don't give much gold though. It's just damage against turrets really and some XP. She's low. Garen's really not low. I don't know if he saw me or not. He might have been tunneling or maybe I wasn't technically in vision. 
There's a knockup with an Eon. Oh, there's Stingers here. That's really good, though. We pulled a TP. It's a really, really, really good interaction. Oh, it's Caitlyn of all people. That's bizarre. It seemed like a, like a bit of a rage teleport there. There wasn't a whole lot of value she could get. For some reason, I thought that was Cinder, but she doesn't even have TP. First time taking Crab Camp. They're really weak right now. I'll come back top. Might be able to do something. Aatrox is kind of low, so he might not be able to do much. I don't know why this guy's so fast. It's kind of weird. He doesn't have Flash. Got hit by a big fat juicy deuce. Ghost him down. Auto might have been able to use W. He's moving pretty quick though. You max W last on Nunu because it doesn't really get anything per level besides damage. You get faster per your champion level, not per level in W. Meanwhile, your E gets uh, bigger, slow, lower cooldown. W is just a bit more damage. Your E gets more damage as well, so it's a no-brainer. We could afford our mesh. Leandri's in the same stroke. The only way we lose this game from this position, assuming no one on our team rage quits or DCs, is if I throw my shutdown gold. So all we have to do is stay alive and do plays where we know we have an overwhelming advantage in safety level, and then we win. Got to take the free plays, which there will be plenty of those considering we're ahead. Got the water walking. She's not going to be able to dodge this forever. There's a snare. Auto cute. Got her with a smite. And you see I pulled back there because even if I kill both of them, if I die, it's not worth it. Didn't know where Lee Sin was. The lower on health we are, the more we heal. So our, our Q healed a lot there. I have a control word right here of all places. Does she have an ally or something? Like, why is she over here? That is bizarre that she's, like, doing that when her... I don't know. All right. Thanks for the mesh stacks. Appreciate you, Syndra. You little sweetie pie. I think their team's doing a lot of tilty rage plays. We're swinging out wide because we're going so fast. I missed pretty much all my E's. We got the Rel R at least. The minions were blocking my E, so I couldn't land my E damage or set up the E snare off the E landing. We'll go ahead and lay that right there. Swing it out wide once again. I need to eat something. It might be on this right now, to be honest. Oh, wait, no, Lisa isn't dead. What am I talking about? We gotta pull it out. You might as well. Ugh, Blitz isn't letting us. It should be out far enough to where Lisa can't Q over. He's gonna have to ward dash into it, which is gonna put him at a much higher uh, risk of death. It's much more dangerous. Oh, you fool. You simpleton. What have you done? Got her flash. She may not even have had to. I had a weird angle I was curving in at. There's peace in. There's Garen. Right, I'm back in. Yeah, I see how he's not resetting now because I'm back within his border. That's frustrating. He still chased the other way. Their support is kind of coming over here. It is what it is. Your support's over here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So our mid's coming. I'm kind of fed. Aatrox is all right. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, yeah. Well played to, Well played by me there. I think we got the Rel Flash. Maybe a Lee Sin Flash. We need... I don't know what we need there. We were CC'd for a while. I feel like Sorks are fine since I have Phase Rush. It's kind of gross that they can come to this fight as and get away with that. I guess I was out of position. I'm going to Ghost into W. Got my Nimbus speed up. Ghost speed up. Tier 2 boots. I'm going to eat this Caitlyn alive. <laughs> Knock up into E. We get mesh stacks. Vagar gets some permanent AP from 
getting killer assists on champion. And they're still getting away with winning fights over here. I do not get it. Makes no sense to me. I got him smited. He's turbo slowed. I did not get an assist on her, so that's no mesh stacks for me. Kind of sucks. Yeah, with, with them being behind as a team, they're not allowed to come to objectives. Because if we simply show up, we'll get decimated. Later, Garen. Got to get back up to 10 mesh stacks for the bonus movement speed. Then we'll be pushing for Storm Surge and Shadow Flame for our magic penetration. You can rush Storm Surge or Shadow Flame. However, the Leandri's HP is just so freaking good. It's, it's hard not to go Leandri's. That's awkward. Yeah, they killed Harold. Gotta play it slow. Celestial opposition. Wait, did they both go support item? I think they're doing that exploit where they both run support crap. I could have just pressed R and shielded myself. That was kind of dicey. Let's end up dying for it, which is better than me dying since I have mesh stacks. And a decent amount of gold spent. Oh, I gotta press R, bro. I press R. I don't know. At least Vagar's getting stacks out of all of this. It just kind of sucks that we're dying. It's worth. We get some stacks back. We'll take it. I almost have my jungle item finished. At least it's still pretty far off. Next up, what were we going for again? Oh yeah, we're going Storm Surge. Go for this and this. Having Azanis would be really, really nice against their team. Biggest thing they have going for them is uh, the Syndra Displacement. Her stun displacement move knocks out our Snowball. Any hard CC cancels Nunu W. The only thing his W really counters is slows because he's immune to slows while he's uh, on his W or whatever. I want that red buff. Don't have R. Kind of sucks. Seems like they're all kind of coming over here. That sucks. <laughs> Do you need to tell me you take so long to get revved up? I might have just threw the game a little bit there. If Soul and Blitz can trade, then it's fine, but... Alright, it's fine in the end, but still kind of troll that I didn't get it. I'm wondering if I was on a ward, because the fact that Sinjur was there and Rel got there, they're all just kind of on the red buff. Like, I get they're coming to Dragon, but still, that timing. We're going to have to slow down. Can't be the tip of the spear, unless we can run into them with our W. In which case, then it's fine. We'll go grab red buff. It'll give it to our whole team at 20 minute mark. Whenever you take a buff and your jungle items finish 20 minute mark, it should give it to your whole team. Can we take raptors from this angle? Moving so fast. Looks like we can still. We'll go for Garen here in a second. Got the bush speed up now. I think it's whenever you're not in combat with enemy champions, it gives it to you. But when you are with champions, then it doesn't give it to you. Alright. That should be red buff for the whole team. Got bush speed up off W. Hey, buddy. Oh, you juked it. But at what cost? You're basically... Ro oh, he got away. Alright. Well played to him. Stride breaker speed up. I was going to say he shouldn't be able to. I guess he had Nimbus speed up from Flash plus the stride break speed up. Stride breaks the speed up and a slow now simultaneously.
Nice. Just walk through tank turret a bit, hit him with some ease. He's just trying to grab the wave so we don't die him. Because I could just walk underneath turret and charge up a fat R. And they quit. Alright, not a bad game all in all. Got kind of messy towards the end. We'll go ahead and do a part two because this game was so short. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to part two. This time we got direct counter pick by a trundle in the bunghole. That's what happens when you first pick Nunu. I traded off, I think, my AD carry or my support. Just is what it is. Uh, it's a cast against Maokai top. Maokai, I don't think he can reach me through my W. So I'd rather just start here. But I could red. Yeah, I'll do red. Krugs. Eh, red. Wraps. Krugs. Gank bot. Set it up. So that, that's what we'll do. We'll just do the red. Wraps. Krugs. Gank bot. Reset. With Dark Seal pass through. Even if we don't get a gank, even if we don't gank, we'll have enough gold for Dark Seal, which is pretty nice. Dark Seal is only 350, very affordable. Probably, I would say there's two items that differentiate, uh, heavily differentiate AP from AD. A big one is Dark Seal, because AD items don't have that kind of scaling, stacking style item, at least not to the same degree as AP has it. And the second one would be Zhonya's. So, AD champions not having access to Dark Soul really or Zhonya's is what is a big balancing factor. That's why it's so problematic when Kaisa can uh, reliably go for Zhonya's. It hurts the meta massively. It makes it so hard to balance the game. Having an AD carry who's got Zhonya's or could you even go Dark Soul if they really want is extremely detrimental for League. But she's so, so hard to balance because they want her to be this kind of, oh, I do everything type of character. All right, they're kind of all in here. Go straight for the rel. Get the e-spam. Do we actually not kill there? Oh, wait, I died. Shit. It's about as poorly as that could have gone. Holy crap. We just did not have a lot of damage. We connected, hit, got an auto and a Q off, and yep. Not pretty at all. It turned out really well for Wei. Turret did loads and loads of damage. Might be able to find something topside. Turn this game around. It's going to be hard to do anything bot now. I mean, Rakan, out of all people, got the kill, I think, through his Ignite, I assume. Take Blue Eye. We wait to see where Maokai is at. Looks like he ended up staying. She should definitely not let him recall there. Yeah, that's good. You should never let someone recall if they're going to do a lazy recall like that. Scuttle comes in 332 now instead of 330. Hold on to Smy. I don't think I really need it. E and Q aren't cooldown anyway, so I'm not in a hurry to launch off of this with a W right now. Nothing I can really do mid. Maokai shoulda, woulda, coulda TP'd back top. Alright, here he is. He already got a literal solo kill against Cass. Not sure how that's even possible. So he can actually E2 me. Huh. Yeah, we got turbo counter picked. He can uh, dash to me and go straight through my snowball. That is rough. Trying to avoid the trundle. Didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. He already got bot scuttle too. I'm wasting my time here. Guess I can take this deep through their jungle and hit through the backside. Through this way. People never see this one coming since it's somewhat of a new wall. They added there or a lack of a wall. I'll try to get her with our slows and snares. Oh, yeah. Big bowl of nothing. <laughs> I don't know. That's really, really rough. That is rough. Got it. I, I just don't get it. We lose 3v2. We are fudged. <laughs> like, I don't get that at all. We literally lose 3v2. How do you gank for a lane that you literally lose 3v2 on? The answer is you don't. But I can't gank top either since Maokai goes through my W. That's rough, man. I guess we don't have much of a choice. We gotta keep ganking bot. 
options are extremely limited right now. We go back for the gank. I don't think Rel warded the way she angled out here. I think this tri brush is not warded at the moment. He doesn't have crazy good items, but his fear hard counters for Khan. It knocks for Khan out of his dash knockup. It's pretty bad. Got it. That's pretty good. Got to keep vision in bush. Trying to block her, but eh, maybe I shouldn't have ghosted there. Caitlyn literally netted back. Let her have the kill. Questionable if I should or not, but just one of those things. It's that dark slide probably should have taken that. Hopefully she wins lane from this point. We might be able to gank mid if we take this fast enough. That's my... So we want to get there right as he sees Nefari and then he sees us and gets knocked up. Yeah, we can't. I don't think we can drag right now. So Vagar just randomly backed. Alright, I didn't want to do drag because I don't know where Trundle is. And then we bot lanes ahead. Caitlyn hasn't spent her like gold advantage. Got with the snare Q. We kind of want to get out of that a little bit. He doesn't have pillar, but he might have a blast cone here. Alright, got him. Not bad. Nefari's pretty strong. I didn't know Nefari had a fear. It seemed like she feared him there. Look at his body is dancing around. Vagar's not roaming. He's not rotating to this. Maokai's not coming, so we take this for free. Might, we might be able to. He's kind of low. I need to detach my W. That's my counter plays. Right when he goes to dash to me, I need to let go of my snowball. Got the snare. Cast is out of mana though. There's no follow up with the mana list cast. I'm almost level six. I'm getting XP really slow through these minions though. Maybe here. Maybe. He had flash. She's serious. I'm about to get six. Kind of need to back. All right, here we go. He's gonna go around me. We'll see how that turns out for him. Turned out great for him. Oh, such a frustrating character, man. He's got so much counterplay. He's got such a wide berth of counterplay. That is just... I didn't have mana. I didn't have mana. At least Cass got executed. I didn't give gold from her death. No mana equals I can't press R equals I can't press Q. I think I could have Q'd there at the very end though, to be fair. Well played from Caitlyn. She's doing a lot with that kill gold she got bot side. They did get dragon. I think they did get the void bugs, void grubs as well. I'm not necessarily in a bad spot though right now. Although wasting those dark seal stacks is pretty painful. Maokai is absolutely ungankable for us. It's too hard. We don't have the right type of laner to set up the gank for us. Cast Lax. I mean, she could throw her thing on and that doesn't let people dash. She's never really in range to do that. She's got Conquer versus Grass. Maybe she can kite it. Nope. He knows that little R trick. He instantly rooted her and walked away. He also got in a furry with that as well. All right, we'll swing this around town. He's a full item. That's icky. We'll see if we win this.
Got him with the Q. Not bad. We'll take it. I could gank bot off this. Depends on how they react. Uh, do you see how fast they started running away? I was all the way over here and they were already backing up. That's crazy. Caitlyn's low. Kate, zero HP. There's no way to gank for this. I don't have R. I'm low health. Maybe we can't. Khan gets the charm. We get the single root. We got his flash at least. To keep auto damage on him. Got him with the smite auto. And we get some health back. Alright, let's reset. We got some dark seals back up. Definitely in a position to carry. We'll pick up Leandre's and go for Shadow Flame. Not Shadow Flame, but Storm Surge. Oh, we got the Void Grubs again. Imagine that. He's not even jungling. He's just farming. <laughs> he's got zero ganks. Arguably, he's done more than me, though, just by taking Dragon Void Grubs. That's sad. He pressed R on me super early there. That's annoying. He gets away with it, too. That's disgusting. This is the one thing I think that hurts League massively as a whole is so me and him played for different things, right? I played for gold and for tempo. He played for objectives, right? It's a trade-off. If I kill him, do I get a dragon or a sliver of a dragon? No. If I kill him, do I get void grubs? No. If he kills me, then why does he get bonus gold? I think that's something that League, uh, I don't think they'll ever balance it. And it's a reason why I generally just preach for just take dragon. It's a very easy way to win the game where you're not penalized for playing for that win condition. Versus if you play heavy for kills, you're heavily penalized if you die. Because I've already died several times and they still get bounty gold if they kill me here. It's kind of crazy. Now, if they made it to where if I killed him, I got a dragon, a free dragon, or a partial dragon, or I got void grubs, since that's what he has as an advantage. And all right, then that's just how the game is. But that's just not how it is. Got the snowball, knock up. Let's look for the double slow here. Got the root, Q. I needed to get down my R like way sooner. That was a misplay on my part. Got the knock up on her. At least she dies. Alright, yeah, that was my bad with the R. Not sure if I was being CC'd or if I just didn't press it. But it was super, super late. Caitlyn's massive item lead on them right now. This is an easy drag. It's generally a pretty hard one to take too because Ocean Drag slows you on every single auto attack. Very nice. We'll play around the scuttle. Get a big speed up into their bot lane. Not in a hurry to smite us. It's my Q and ER on cooldown. Ganking Trundle is going to be hard. We're ganking where he is because the pillar. He can pillar my snowball. There's the knockup. Auto Q. Smite him once the uh, knockup CC is ending. Alright, cool. Barely able to pinch that off. I really needed to heal off something there. Maokai's kind of low, but Cass is low on mana. I'll ghost W for this. She's out of mana, so I don't know what she's going to do at this point. I got to disconnect the W so he doesn't jump to me. Down he goes. That's our only counterplay is essentially to let go early and hope he doesn't juke it. Because if he does, just spam W on us. He can jump to me before the snowball can hit, even at full girth. It's similar to Sivir Spell Shield. You outplay it by letting go of W, hitting them with E since E outranges the W girth. You have to do it really quickly though. So if you have bad internet or bad computer or both, or if you have bad fingers, good luck. It's going to be tough. Nice. Caitlyn's doing a lot with that gold. I'm glad I gave her those kills. It's really paying off here. 
catching up a little bit in CS with Trundle. He went for the team Matt Titanic, so it's pretty efficient for him to spam farm. I should probably go for Harold here. Could wait. I want to go like right as she's going to see him. Is he going to step up for the turret? He doesn't. Interesting. He just randomly walked over here to Harold area. It's very weird. Because he, all he needed was a couple autos on turret. We'll take this Harold mid, I think. That random control word over there. Must have been Trundle who laid it. Maybe I can go top. Cass has some more mana now. Jeez, I don't didn't really want to smite it. Is this warded? Oh yeah, it has a little sapling in it. Yeah, he still was able to kind of jump through it. He took some damage at least from my Leandres. Can we go mid? We might actually be able to go mid here. I don't think it's worth I can hug wall. Largely avoid that bush vision if they put anything there. Nope. He's already out. I'll cue the cannon. Not bad. It's a decent herald blade straight into turret. I think it does more damage if we get inside of it. Just make sure you don't run it into a wall. It also gives us a shield when we pop out. The shield lasts for quite some time. Got the Empowered Herald recall still. It's kind of a little interesting to have even though we laid it. Oh, this is bad. They're running Caitlyn down. Rakan goes in to try to slow him down. I think he got hit by the way R. Got somebody with my W. At least my teammates didn't die there. All right, let's get out. Oh, Rick. wait, how does he even get threatened in that position? How did he end up there? Okay, cool, he doesn't die. Maybe we can go off scuttle here. Got a potential bot play. Maokai's full health though. All right, here we go. All right, way. You bag of scum. Dude, I'm getting torn up, boy. I'm getting chewed up right there. Drag up in 20. They're kind of low. They have to reset more than I think I have to. Oh, uh, big sad. Very sad. Trundle's topside. Caitlyn should not have recalled there. Sure, yeah, they has item advantage. We already knew they had to reset some of them. You see Trundle top. That was a massive mistake. I'm not going to push Dragon by myself while Caitlyn resets. She's our most fed player in the game. If she's not, she chooses not to come to a fight, we can't really do it. The far is not behind necessarily. Caitlyn, it's two full items. Cast is two full items, mouse two items, Vigar two items. I'll be two items once I spend. Hmm. Alright, I'll launch it through here. I see the rel, I see the Vigar. There's a knock up into Q. I'm on phase rush, but I'm moving so slow still from the rel CC. Merc treads might actually be worth it here because they're so AP heavy. Cast ends up dying. That's brutal. She died? Oh my goodness. They're still pretty healthy too. That's horrible. <laughs> These That wall makes it so hard on Earth Soul map. Need to focus Trundle. I'm holding on to abilities till Caitlyn gets closer. She's literally just going after the wrong person though. That's horrible. Literally could have just gone after Trundle, who's already lower on health and much squishier. Q 
Cues me away over the wall. That's rough. I got to heal up off something. They're going for Nefuri. Down Nefuri goes. My whole team gets blue buff. It's 20 minute mark. That's rough though, man. Oh wait, Trundle did end up dying. Who the heck did he die? Oh, he died on turret area over there. Is it a shutdown? Is it a suicide? That's so good, breaking scuttle past 20 minute mark. It shoots out this vision thing that mostly breaks wards and then you can just finish them off real quick. It makes taking Baron so fast. Caitlyn once again in a weird spot by herself. Banner would be a great call if she was over here, but since she's not, it's just kind of slow and awkward. Oh, but hey, those minions, that was worth it, bro. She got a minion wave. That was sick. Well, we got it. I didn't have Smite for whatever reason, but we got Baron. Let's see if they can kite it out. She needs to get to a wall. They flash for it. She flashes. The Trundle Wall kind of blocks a bit. Maokai's going to press W here in a second. He'll speed up. Not bad. Panned out decently enough. Good kiting by the cast. Whew, let's go for Zhonya's here. This is one of those games I think Zhonya's is more than justified. They have so many big things in midair that can kill me. Whether it's a Wei R or Vigar R that I can put on full cooldown and... And avoid all the damage simultaneously. Might as well. Don't typically go for Zahn, Zahn Nunu, but there's games where it makes sense. Decent situational. I don't have my R for this. Smite on Trundle. Ghost for this. I can tell he's going to be kind of hard to keep up with. Alright, route. She will do instead auto Q. She's trying to get to the wall. He's trying to, he's going to Q us all the same way. We need to get kind of behind him. So he pushes us where he doesn't want us to go. I'm dead. Yep. Couldn't even Q in time. He already had it traveled. Why the heck would we surrender off that? Someone tossed up a surrender vote in the middle, in the thick of that fight. That's pretty gross. If you are trying to quit, the best time to do it, like if you actually want to give up because you're a loser, do it when after your team loses a fight as a whole, like once the fight's over. And they're more likely to vote yes. But if you're, even if it's the right thing to surrender, if your team's in the middle of the fight, they're just going to vote no. So you're just stupid both ways because it's like, they're not going to vote yes because you just pissed them off. They're in a fight. You're blocking their screen and you're, you're wasting your own time. So either way, you're just a ding dong because you're either just trying to antagonize your teammates or you don't even know when the right time to toss up a surrender vote is for legitimate reasons. We got Dragon coming up in 44 here. That'll be good to have. It'll lead us into soul shortly. Take red buff. Vigar is pretty tough, man. We might need to get on top of him. He's an issue for sure. Yeah, everyone gets red. Well, I mean, if Nefer is not going to come over here, we might have to give it. She's just randomly not here. I suppose it is what it is. Hmm. Yeah, they just get drag, I guess. But hey, we got a turret. That's a that's <laughs> that's a bad deal right there. I think they want to retreat as a whole. I have to get out of the way of the Vigar rock. Keep a control word in bush so we can see this turd. Got to get him with the Q for the heal. I still have my R I can use. Turned out decent, but not getting dragon such a load of crap. There's a knock up into Q. Down he goes. Should be able to push this into something here. Way's pretty low. Caitlyn has R. 
She needs to press R on him when we see him. We might be able to push this in here. Caitlyn, press R! I, I think she can reach. He's low. I think she's in range. She's not looking. I think she has the team muted. She's done so many random split push solo things. She probably got tired of getting pinged. Big R. Boof. Down they go. That was greedy of them. I think they thought, like, through their peripheral, they saw Wei was in the area, but they didn't really realize he was low and wanting to reset. And Vigar used his R on me. What a goober. Oh my god. I didn't know Wei R did that. I kind of walked into that one at the end. It blew up on me. I was trying to finish off Maokai with a big Q. But then Wei R exploded. I didn't know that's how it worked. So you can spill. Yeah. So basically, he puts that big juicy gob of damage on your teammate. He puts that big circle on him, slows him down, and it blows up. If you're in it, you'll take damage. So I was. I think I was gonna finish off Maokai there with a Q. An ending despair. It's probably Hall of Radiance pulling all the way for him right now. Ah, uh, no one's really getting heal cut on my team, so I'll pick up a little bit of heal cut. And then we'll go for, I don't know, like Shadow Flame Robidon or something. As long as we kill Vigar, we should be good to go. When he's on, he's all using my R on his head. My R is a three second channel. I think he's on, he's just two and a half. Three seconds, yeah, what is Zanya's? It is, yeah, two and a half. So it's always Zanya's, you just start your R channel immediately and right when they come out, they're gonna get freaking juiced. There's a knock up. It gets away, that sucks. I think I'm just gonna kill, end up get dying there if I do that. They blue warded. They double blue warded. I'm on a weird angle now. I don't know if I'm going to get there. Anyway, got you, buddy. Might be able to get Rel here. We'll see. Vagar is dead. We actually win this hard. Got Rel with the knock up. Kind of just need her to die. Trundle's an issue. Maokai's out of mana. He's in trouble now. I'll try to block him with my body here a bit if I can. Just try to walk behind him and whatnot. Cash should be healing quite a bit. Just got Conqueror. And Maokai's lack of mana here is really screwing him. If he had mana, he probably kills both realistically. He's taking so much damage though. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> She's three full item with Leandris. Well, as long as Nefori comes to this drag fight, we should win drag. Ah, oh, wait, yeah. Ooh. I don't know. This is kind of dicey. I don't think she realizes that her turret was fallen. She probably thought her turret was full health as she stepped up there. We were breaking it extremely fast, too. We need dragon badly. Nefari, once again, is not coming for Dragon because she knows best. Probably has the team muted just like Caitlyn. Baron, honestly, is not even a game ender for us. Dragon's way more important. We can literally just play for soul and win the game by default. Like Baron does nothing. It's so worthless. If you already have in, We can already take the inhibs. We're not actually doing Dragon. This is... Dude, this is unreal. That is unreal. No drag. We could easily just take Dragon Reset, spend gold, win Baron fight, end game. Ugh, I don't know. This makes no sense. Dragon's much faster. We could just take this so quick. It also sets up the soul for us. Incredible. But hey, let's risk it all because, you know, 
barren. Heck of spicy. We, d we definitely need it too. I mean, it's not like we've been able to get to the inhibs at all or anything. Crazy how that works. Just how it goes as a jungler sometimes. Sometimes your teammates absolutely have zero. Like, they, they either have you muted or they just think they're... Like, they know best or whatever. I'm not going over there, though. I'm not going to go over there. It's ridiculous. I want to spend my gold. Let's go for Shadow Flame. We could go for Mesh. Yeah, let's go Shadow Flame. I'll go grab blue buff and then we'll look for the end here. Caitlyn's up by herself, so she probably dies there. I'm not going there. Outrageous. Like this is exactly what you shouldn't be doing as an AD carry. It's a very uh, high risk, low reward. Because if any of them catch her out of position, she's a gone or she has low mobility. Should just be us basically five man grouping on either bot or top right now. The four playing the split isn't that bad as long as we're not we don't need to do dragon. Because her playing the split at least forces their slow moving comp. Forces them to move around. I'll ghost for this. Kaylin barely got him in trap. Got him with snare R. Down you go, buddy. I'm still on ghost, so my W is gonna be decent here. Oh no. Oh, I think I put his R on cooldown. I think enough of it casted there. He still gets me with rock. Not bad though. We'll take it. Pretty solid. That was a really, really tough game. A lot tougher than the first one. The first one, a lot more straightforward. Never did end up getting drag soul this game. It's kind of sad not having a 30 minute mark. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. 24 assists, 7 kills. Not many kills. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we were pretty much tied up with everybody else except for Cass and Caitlyn. They certainly did start to break away there. We did more damage than even Vigar. That's a little surprising because he was hurting bad. I mean, Maokai even did more damage than Vigar. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. For damage taken, we've taken the most on our team, even as AP Nunu. That means we were frontlining heavily. self mitigated. We were number two on the team behind Rakan. Pretty much tied up with everybody else because we weren't building much armor, magic resist. And for runes, I value. All in all, AP Nunu, definitely solid. Lots of carry potential. If you guys enjoyed this new, new video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.